Hey everyone, welcome back to Tactics. Oh, dude, my shoe. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Leo Baker Pro Model Shoe for Nike SB. First impressions right out the box. I really like the silhouette of the shoe. It kind of reminds me of a Vans half cap, just with like the height of the heel here. Shape wise, I really like this toe. Not too like pointed and not too blunted, just kind of right in the middle there. The shoe fit pretty similar to a blazer, a little bit on the wider side. I wouldn't say too tight or too loose. The top here is pretty easy to get your foot in. Definitely easier than the blazer. You can get in without, you know, unlacing. The shoes broke in pretty quickly. I would say maybe like 20, 30 minutes. The React insole took a minute to like kind of get going, but once you got it broken in, it was good to go. It's got a really interesting sole. It's got a cup sole on the bottom here with kind of your standard treading, and then it's got uh, foxing around the inside. So you get the flick of a vulcanized shoe, but you get the support of the cup sole comboed with the uh, React insole. It's just a middle ground between the Janowski and the Blazer. Like it kind of hits all the things that you want it to hit right in between there. Like supportive, good flick, good shape, you know, a little bit of a mid. As far as comfort goes, I really liked having the React insole. In these ones, I definitely noticed a difference with the heel being a little bit thicker. That recently been coming off of a heel bruise, so that was very, very helpful. The toe is a little bit thinner, so you really get good board feel with the toe and then the support of the heel. And I didn't really leave any sessions being like, ah, this hurts a lot. So I'd say overall, very comfortable shoe. The inside of the shoe has these great tongue straps helps keep the tongue securely to your foot and also provides flexibility of getting your foot in and out of the shoe. It's a very breathable shoe. The toe does have leather here, but it's got some holes, let some airflow in there. And you got satin on the side, so it's a little bit lighter of a material. So my feet didn't get too, too sweaty. Skated these shoes for, I'd say like 25 to 30 hours. So like a good amount of time of really hard skating. I generally skate pepper grip and I do new shoes, new boards, so they wear out a little bit quicker than someone who kind of messes with that combination. And then obviously I do a lot of flip tricks. As far as wearing goes, this is my regular shoe. Broke a couple of laces, one down here, one kind of up on top here. Did a lot of heel flips as you could see. I always blow through the shoe right here, so I really liked how they had the suede go across this zone. On the toe, got a good chunk of rubber worn off here, but not too terrible. I would still keep skating these ones. Did a lot of switch heels with this one, so I got a hole right there, a little bit of wearing right here, but I didn't break a lace on this side. I guess that's just how it goes for this one. But overall, very sturdy shoe. Lasted pretty well. Didn't really have any issues, you know, blowing it out in a crazy time frame or anything like that. There's a little bit of wearing happening in the middle of the shoe here, but otherwise, pretty perfect grip, no issues. Over time, the React insole kind of got a little soft, so you got a lot of like, a little too much flexibility in the sole. I like to stay a little bit more stiff. And then it started to kind of pack out and get a little bit loose in the upper. I noticed that I definitely had to like start tightening down the laces and really like working hard to like keep the shoe snug to my foot. Overall, great shoe. I really like it. I really like everything that Leo Baker did in designing it. Anyone and everyone could skate this shoe and have a good time. Would 100% skate this shoe again. SSBSTS. <laughs> I'm out. Drop the mic. <laughs>